Hi, my name is Keys and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be making some sketches of Wonder Woman in honor of the new movie Wonder Woman 1984 coming out. And um, I just want to practice some anatomy and poses and just full bodies in general because I am usually more focused on portraits. So I thought this would be a good way to just brush up on my anatomy and figure and faces and bodies at the same time. And I, I'm so excited for this movie. I absolutely love Wonder Woman. I'm a big fan of DC Comics. I love their animated movies. And um, I haven't seen as much at, uh, of their live action movies because Marvel live action movies are much better. So it's really hard to just get into DC live action movies. But Wonder Woman was just, it was really good. And um, I don't know, I'm not like a critic. So movies usually excite me no matter what so my standard is pretty low and the wonder woman movie that came out like two years ago absolutely just went above and beyond for me so i really love wonder woman in general and um i just want to capture some of her beauty and her likeness to the actress and originally i was going to use um a comic book wonder woman and some wonder woman from the different animated movies but i thought it would be a better idea to just um, draw her as she is shown in the live action. Alright, so um, I'm sorry about this one. I accidentally zoomed in and I didn't notice until after I was done with the drawing, but I think you could still see everything. So for this pose, I want to do something a little bit more dynamic. You know, I wanted to capture some action, capture something that looks a little bit more difficult because usually when arms are blocking like the torso of a character, it becomes like a million times harder because you can't see where you're putting anything. So I thought this pose would be a good pose to kind of practice, you know, get everything right and just make everything look really cool because poses like these can look very wonky because the character is not just standing straight. There's a lot of places where it can go wrong, you know, so um, I thought this would be something to kind of break away from just her face or her just standing there. And I wanted to make sure I capture an expression of not really anger but fierceness and just readiness and action in her eyes and it's kind of hard when the expression and her character looks so simplistic so her eyes and her like everything looks kind of cartoonish so I was all like I need to get this right because it was important that her expression is correct because it would look very weird if she has like this fierce pose going on and then her face was just confused or she looked very cute you know it wouldn't look proper so i want to make sure everything kind of fit together the pose and her expression Alright, so this pose was a little bit more simpler, but I chose to do it because I want to really just capture all her elements without her doing anything, without her turning in an angle, or without her facing a different direction. Just her facing forward and just showing her costume, her hair, her body, and just everything in general. And originally, when I first did the sketch, I didn't really like how her face was looking, so I was very close to giving up on the sketch and erasing it. Because actually, these drawings I'm making right now are actually my, my third tries at this. I tried like 
um, a whole bunch of different times to get these sketches correct and I messed up every single time so these sketches are actually the ones that came out correct so I'm really glad because I was about to give up on recording um, but yeah and I was only able to define her expression after I did the sketch so when I did the second layer that's when I was able to get her face correct like at first her face looks a little like it looked a little funny and I was just like this is not working you know so the second time around everything kind of worked out really nicely and the extra lines and cross hatching really helped me to um, capture the shadows and the lightness of her body and just capture the dimensions um, in places where she has muscle or um, where her body curves so the lines were really helpful in helping the drawing not look so flat So for the fourth sketch, I wanted to go for something a little bit more difficult and I think out of all the sketches I was practicing, this one was my least favorite mostly because I think I approached it completely wrong and I messed up some elements that I wanted to get correct and I was, some things just didn't look right like her arms were very difficult to get correct and her fingers looked like little sausages so I was like oh my god what am I gonna do? And it's very important that in this pose, the body just looks correct, you know, um, there's a lot going on. So everything must work together so that her pose can look really cool at, you know, really cool and really correct at the same time. So um, when I did the lines, I want to go really small with the lines so that I could capture everything. But at this point, my arms were getting tired. So I don't know, like the sketch was just, I was rushing through everything. So to finish things off, I want to go with something really cute, really adorable. So this is like the first sketch I made, but a little bit more simplified. Um, I want to just make her eyes bigger, make her face a little chubbier, just make her look kind of um, childlike in a way. The style I'm drawing her in where everything is more exaggerated, like her face is, um, is bigger and her body is smaller and her proportions aren't as... Um, the lines aren't as sharp so everything looks very soft and very cute and I just thought it would be a nice way to kind of finish things off um, with the sketching and I was so happy because this sketch actually came out really cute so I was really happy by um, how this one came out and the picture itself um, is supposed to be just a picture of her looking at the camera and looking cute so the sketch had to reflect that.
all right that's it thank you so much for watching and i have one more video for 2020 it's something really cute i thought it would be a nice way to end off the year and i want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed and who watch my videos and who comments all the time you guys are so sweet thank you so much i love making these videos and i'm so excited to continue making them and as long as i have time and my classes and all that stuff doesn't take too long i'll be able to keep making videos and i just genuinely enjoy it so um thank you for watching have a wonderful holiday and merry christmas and be safe and goodbye <laughs>